Okay, so today is going to be a very special Kaylee Tries edition because I made this video already and then my hard drive died. So all the videos that I made and hadn't uploaded yet since the middle of February are gone. So we're going to do this again and I'm going to use what I already know about these, the things I'm about to try to um, enrich the video experience. So today we're going big. Well, big but small bottle. Coca-Cola Life. Now, I heard about Coca-Cola Life when it first came out in South America two years ago. And originally I looked it up because I was like, the fuck is this green label about? That is not appetizing at all. And you know what? It still isn't. This is still an ugly ass color. It's just not, I, uh, it's just bad. It just looks really bad. Um, but I thought I would give it a chance. And I don't like diet sodas. I don't like artificial sweeteners. Aspartame is disgusting. It gives me migraines. It's unpleasant. Um, the other, what's the other one? Splenda. Splenda tastes like garbage. I'm not into that at all. I was like, is that a weird? It's just a shadow. That's all. Okay. Um. But so like, I don't like Coke Zero, and I don't like Diet Coke, and it. Ugh, ugh, no. Caffeine free. Caffeine free Coke is fine tastes like Coke, just with no caffeine. I actually grew up on caffeine-free Coke, because that's what we had in my house. That's my granddad always drank, so that's what we had. Um, of course, my heart and soul... I, I don't like cherry Coke either, I'm sorry. Um, or Coke Lemon. Oh, I did try it, but... Uh, um, but I do love vanilla Coke, so there's that. Um, Coca-Cola Life is supposed to be a product bridging the gap between Diet Coke and Coke Zero and regular Coke. Um, Coke Zero has none of the things. It has none of the calories and none of the sugars and none of the nothings. It's just a bottle of emptiness. And Coke, Diet Coke, I don't know if, Di I haven't seen just Diet Coke, honestly. I've seen Coke Zero but not Diet Coke in a long time, so maybe they don't make Diet Coke, they just make Coke Zero now. Either way, ew. Um, Coca-Cola Life has 60% of the sugar content that regular Coke does, or calorie content. I think it's sugar. Um, and this is mainly because Coca-Cola Life uses a sugar substitute called Stevia. Stevia was uh, actually illegal in the United States. Um, and still is, which is why I'm a little confused why they're even able to release this. Um, there are some questionable health things. There hasn't been a lot of good studies done yet, but there were some indications that maybe it's not terribly good for you. So it was banned in the U.S. and most of the, the U.K. and Europe. But South America was all about it. So Coca-Cola Life came out in Argentina and Brazil and Chile in 2013. And somehow was released in the United States starting from September of last year. I don't think it's done very well. And that, I'll, I'll explain why I think that is after we get to our proper testing. So it has 60% of the the whatever that regular Coke does. So when I first tried it, my initial, basically what I wanted to see is, does it taste like Coke? Because my biggest issue with Coke Zero is that it doesn't taste like Coke. And part of that is because I am a super taster. So I am more sensitive to chemicals and I taste things that other people can't necessarily taste. I am extremely sensitive at tasting. So I can, I like, I can tell from the taste whether it has been bottled in Atlanta or St. Louis. I could tell. 
I don't know if I can anymore. It was mostly in college that I was able to do that. Fun party trick, by the way. But, um, <laughs> yeah. So I'm really sensitive. So I don't drink diet soda. Diet soda has been shown to actually be worse for you in the long run than regular soda and not any better for you in the short run. So most people who drink diet soda um, drink it because they like the taste now because it's pretty apparent after years of studies that it's actually worse for you. So, um, but some people prefer the taste. So, you know, whatever. What you like is what you like. I don't like it, but some people do. So, for me, Coca... No cat. This is not for you. Coca-Cola Life, does it taste like Coke? Or does it taste like Coke Zero? The answer we will come to in a minute. First, I want to address the differences, because that was my primary concern. So I'm going to tilt the camera down. Can you see them? I'm trying to let's see if I can get it so that you can see. Um, my apartment's a mess. I'm sorry. Ah! Okay. Let's do this. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's cool. Okay. All right. Shit, I wasn't expecting it to be right there. I thought I could point it down, but I can't. So, move and shit. All right, I have two cups here. The cups have a black line. Can you, is it gonna? I don't want to pour these and then have everything fall over. Like that. Okay. All right. There's a black line and a red line. I'm going to fill it to the black line at the same time, and then the red line, whoever, whichever, whoever's foam drops to the red line first wins, okay? Because that is the first thing that you notice. So the color is pretty much the same. Let's see if I can notice this. Okay, that's the regular. That's the life. Okay. This is a little bit precarious, so I'm gonna fiddle with this one second more. Can you see? It? I really want you to be able to see it. Okay. Sorry, my apartment's a mess. See, I love you. Okay. a bit darker. There, that's better. Okay. So, here we go. So, regular Coke on the right, and Coke Life on the left. This freaked me out. A lot. Like a lot. I want you to see here. So, aside from the obvious, wow, that took forever, notice how much more bubbles there are condensing on the inside of this versus this. For whatever reason, the con- the- not condensation, the, um, carbonation in the Coke Life goes away really fast. It has a really thick foamy head on it and then takes forever to go away and then went, by the way, how did I, I nailed that, damn. That one I poured a little bit, but it took forever to go down and then once it did, 
all the bubbles are gone. So when I poured it, I'm someone who pours coke often enough that I can time it. Like I can tell by looking at it, okay, that's enough. That's going to fill the cup. Like I can sense it. But with this, I was like, I don't, what the fuck is going on? I couldn't follow it. The speed was so different. Um, so there's that difference. Um, the next difference is in flavor. The color is actually the same, as far as I can tell. Um, yeah, it's, it's the same. I'd say this might be a little, Coke Life might be a little darker, maybe, but not enough to make a really obvious difference. Um, the next part is the taste. Coca-Cola Life. When I first tasted it, it did not taste like Coke. This is Coke. It tastes like Coke. So, Coca-Cola Life. Hello, Life. Tastes like Pepsi, but flat Pepsi. There's a tiny bit of carbonation when you're moving it around your mouth, but otherwise, this is essentially flat. There's no, no, this is, no. So not only does it not taste like Coke, it tastes like Pepsi, but not even just Pepsi, it tastes like bad old flat Pepsi. In fact, it tastes like flat fountain Pepsi that hasn't been mixed to the right amount. It's really, really unpleasant. It tastes really kind of like an icky, there's a stickiness to it that's really gross. Um, and it does taste like fake sugar. It doesn't taste good at all. Um, and I don't know if that's the stevia, but something about the way they formulated it. Like, the foaming still weirds me the fuck out. Like, why does it do that? That's really freaky. I really don't want it to be doing that. <laughs> so, yeah. My, my overall assessment of Coke Life is that if you like Pepsi, maybe you'll like it. But as a soda, the carbonation is a major problem. The way that it foams is weird, the way that it goes flat is weird, the way that it, like, it's just, there's something weird chemically going on. And it's just unpleasant. It's just not nice. You know, when you drink regular soda, every time you move it, it fizzes. The carbonation stays in it for quite a bit longer, even if it's open and sitting there in front of it. Even if you have an ice cube in it, it stays carbonated for a decent amount of time, but this is almost instantaneously flat. And when you swish it around your mouth, it bubbles for barely any time at all before tasting flat. So it really is just not a good soda. I think that sodas are characterized by carbonation, and the carbonation sucks. So aside from the fact that the flavor is not that great, maybe if you like Pepsi, maybe you'll like it, but I don't, so I don't. The carbonation I consider to be the biggest problem. Um, and I have yet to find anybody who likes it. Um, I guess it's been doing, it must have been doing okay in South America if they decided to release it everywhere else, but it's not, it's not good. It's not good, so. I I really recommend giving it a pass. It's just no. No. If you if you want a low calorie soda, just go get Coke Zero because this just tastes Coke. Coke Zero at least kind of resembles Coke in flavor, I guess. But the bubble, the carbonation is just weird, and it's really, it has a really strong, really persistent aftertaste. Um, it, there's no, there's almost like, regular Coke has almost a chocolatey flavor to it sometimes, the way that it, it sticks in your mouth, but this just tastes like 
fake sugar stuck in your mouth. It's not, it's not good. <laughs> it's just not good. So, um, yeah, give, give life a pass. Give life a pass. Sounds awful. Give Coke like a, a pass because it's, mm, no. I mean, if you're curious, I guess you try it, but uh, mm -mm. there's a reason why I only bought a tiny bottle to redo this video. Um, the first one was obviously a first taste video, and I was really weirded out by it and really thrown by it, and not at all interested in it, so, <laughs> but I thought it was worth making a video about, especially that weird-ass foaming. What the fuck was that about? I don't even know. So, yeah. I love you, Coke, but no, this was a this was a mistake. This is a mistake. I'm just gonna keep on drinking this stuff. It's gonna kill me. Soon. This is fucking delicious. <laughs> Bye, guys.